The M220 is an over-ear headphone that is frequently used for critical listening and professional mixing. Featuring a unique semi-open design that combines a spacious soundstage with impressive isolation, the AKG M220 is a beautiful set of headphones with a nice detachable cable, very comfortable replaceable ear pads, and if you've ever wanted to listen to music exactly as the artist intended, this is the headphone the sound engineer probably used to master the track. Check out the link down below. Mastrop offers fast shipping, and you can have these at your doorstep before you know it. Hey y'all, Moses here. Uh, the patch notes have just dropped for the test server. Um, we'll jump right in here in a second. Uh, I just want to give you a brief overview. So the test server is going to come up tonight. It appears to be 6 o'clock um, uh, Pacific time, rather. Uh, so Pacific time, the test servers will go up and they'll come down tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. So it's only going to be a one-day test because, as stated in the patch notes, the test server build is currently unstable. Now, they mentioned that last week. I think they've made it less unstable, but it's still in the uh, still at the point where you should expect crashes. Uh, so I know crashes will be very, very new to most of you since this game never crashed before. Um, but uh, Kappa. So the, uh, uh, the test build is relatively stable, but they're only going to run this probably as a stress test. Um, and uh, you you will likely experience uh, client crashes on the test server. So um, that's the that's the cost of cost of admission. Beyond that, uh, the regions and modes that will be available for testing are only solo first person and third person, and uh, for North America and Asia, solo first person and third person. So no duos, um, no squads, just the solo game modes for the test server this time around. Now, what's in the patch? Vaulting and climbing. We've talked about that at length. I'm sure you guys are well versed in what is going on with vaulting and climbing. However, ballistics changes are coming as well. This is something I didn't expect to be in this build, but it was mentioned in the previous patch preview, so I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. I'm just happy that there's more to look at than just vaulting and climbing, even though that's a pretty big change. Uh, it's kind of weird to think that it's actually going to be available today for amazing. I'm excited. Uh, okay, so regarding ballistics, we made changes to bullet drag effect, accuracy, and hit areas to give them a more realistic touch, as well as improve the balance of weapons. Um, for those of you who didn't recognize that what's happening, I'm going to be reading the patch notes. Um, no gameplay, so this is just a news. This is me and you talking. We're just talking about the patch notes, okay? So just trigger warning, I guess. Ballistics overall. Let's jump right in. We are constantly looking into improving the balance of the weapons while adding a little bit of a more realistic, albeit reasonably balanced, touch. As a consequence, we are now working on a ballistics balance pass. We have been announcing changes okay. uh, to the way the projectiles and weapons behave for some time, and now the first iteration is realized. The overhaul consists of multiple elements. The most essential one is the addition of a bullet drag effect that affects the trajectory curve of a project of bullets, projectiles. Due to this effect, the bullet now loses its velocity over time, similar to what happens to it in real life. As a result, with gravity still acting on the projectile at the same distance as before the bullet drop, as at the same distance as before, the bullet drop will be bigger. For most assault rifles, the change will be hardly noticed at short range. It will become increasingly obvious above the range of 300 meters. So pretty large distance, uh, considering the regular engagement range for assault rifles, but in real life, similar um, to uh, Arma or other games, uh, 300 meters is typically the effective range of a 5.56 round. Um, so that's kind of, I believe, the mark that they used. I'm not a gun guy, but I think that's kind of my basic understanding as to what the effective range is considered for most 5.6 rifles. Anyway. I'm not saying that's the maximum range, the effective range. There's a difference. Let's not dwell on it. Following, uh, secondly, we've tweaked the accuracy of the weapons, basing the new numbers on their IRL counterparts. While some weapons may experience a slight accuracy nerf, others will become more accurate than before. Following the changes to the trajectory of the bullet, we have looked at the usability of iron sights and sight attachments. To accommodate the new ballistics, we have changed the way zeroing works to be slightly more realistic. As a result, each weapon will have unique set uh, have a unique set of zeroing ranges while using the iron sights. Red dot and holographic sights will allow for zeroing on short ranges. You will also now be able to adjust the intensity of the reticle by, uh, by default using the mouse wheel. 
I'm not sure what the intensity means, but maybe the thickness, how serious it looks, I have no idea. Uh, the 4X's tip of the Chevron is zeroed in on respectively 50 and 100 meters for submachine guns and other weapons. Bigger scopes will additionally allow you to change the zoom level by default using the mouse wheel. Zeroing for 4X is the same as before in the first test servers and will be updated in the next test build. Okay, I don't know what that means. I don't know what the same as before means. Regardless, um, the the sights are changing. There's, it's not a completely clear picture as to what that means, but there's some stuff down below that maybe we can understand a little bit better. Finally, we have introduced changes to the hit areas of the characters. We felt that the initial system was a little bit too simplistic and punishing to the players. With the new system, the problematic neck area will be protected by the helmet. So getting shot in the neck will no longer be a headshot. I've never experienced that being a headshot before, but whatever. Shooting hands and feet is now less effective than it was before. On top of regular bonuses and penalties to the hit areas, the damage will be modified by weapon class. Um, so weapon damage will be modified. That's in, that's in pretty, sm uh, it's a small sentence, but a pretty big change. So we'll again, look at the details sh shortly. These changes will allow us to further balance the use and functionality of different types of weapon classes. Please bear in mind that the changes are not final. Many are in fact experimental and we are still working on more features to be introduced into the game. So they kind of break it down here a little bit. Projectile, uh, so this is before and after, so it'll, I'll, the before thing and then the after thing. Before, projectile is affected only by gravity, velocity is constant. Now, projectile is affected by gravity and air drag, velocity drops over time quasi-exponentially, which means long travel time, bigger drop. Most of, uh, most of weapons are, uh, sorry, before, most of weapons are very accurate aside from submachine guns. After, all weapons are reasonably accurate up to a medium range of 300 meters. Before, zeroing is a parameter of a weapon regardless of sight attachment. Z uh, and then after, zeroing is a parameter of sight attachment only uh, or iron sights of the weapon. So uh, it was a zeroing is now being applied to the sight more so than the actual weapon itself regardless of sight. So now the sight actually matters. Uh, so before, uh, the reticle's intensity cannot be changed in red dot or holographic sight. And now they can be adjusted uh, depending on light conditions. So that's what it means. So you can change the way the reticle looks depending on light conditions. So having to change uh, your colorblind settings and that kind of stuff is not going to be as necessary as it was before. Um, uh, so now, before, damage to any part of the limb has a 50% damage penalty. So limb damage was by, by nature 50% less than a body shot. Damage to limb parts is differentiated. The closer to the chest, the more damage. So if you hit someone in the hand, It'll be maybe the fifty percent damage reduction, but if you hit someone in the shoulder, uh, it'll be a slighter. It'll be a slight damage penalty. So the limb damage change is completely changed. So that's the the leg hit mechanic is actually going to be if you're more accurate technically and you're still hitting a limb, you should be doing more damage. So that's an interesting change. Oh, this isn't in the test build. It says right here to be applied later, not in the first test build. So that's coming later, which is too bad, but whatever. Uh, so now the neck is not protected by the helmet, no damage bonus. Now the neck is protected by the helmet, 25% percent, 25 percent penal penalty to headshot bonus. So if you hit someone in the neck, I think you'll do more damage, but it won't be a headshot, I think, is what that means. I'm not sure if a neck was... So there was no damage bonus to the neck before. Now there is a neck shot bonus, but it's protected by the helmet. So it's, I guess the neck is now considered a headshot, except it's not a full headshot, as I think is what they're talking about here. 25% penalty to headshot bonus. So I don't know if that still means it's a one shot if you have a level two or what, but we'll see. Uh, some damage modifiers to all hit areas for all weapons, uh, which was before. Uh, different damage modifiers to hit areas based on weapon class or type. So now different weapon damage, sorry, different weapons will do different damage to different parts of the body. Unless it, so based on, uh, based on the weapon. So submachine guns doing less damage, AR is doing more, sniper rifle is doing more, that kind of stuff. All right, so now let's get into the detailed patch notes. Client optimization. Optimize terrain data to reduce memory usage. 
Reduce the lag issue when terrain is loading. Reduce the lag issue when multiple players are in sight. Okay, I'm skeptical, but I'm ready. That sounds good. Server optimization. Optimize server performance by adjusting network throughput. Okay. I mean, good. Whatever that means in real life, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for this to be a real thing. Optimization, good. Uh, vault, added vaulting and climbing. Gameplay. Vehicle driving balance is modified. We are adjusting the driving sounds to be more realistic. Sources of vehicle sounds will be improved. Buggy. Buggy. I'm looking at you. Be quieter. Okay, sweet. Vehicle driving is adjusted to be more realistic. This is an early stage of balancing. We need your feedback to improve driving. So we'll see. Hopefully it's not like GTA 4 level realistic, but we'll see. Improve the vehicle and passenger animations. Nice. Uh, ballistics overhaul. Uh, so we talked about this. Large scopes now have variable zoom and can be adjusted using the mouse wheel. So the 15x scope is not just permanently 15 times scope. Hopefully you can back it off to like a four or eight times or something like that beforehand. Uh, so 8x similar. So the 8x I think will probably go up in in uh, in viability for sure. Uh, so the red dot hollow and 2x sites can now have the reticles brightness adjusted using the mouse wheel. So that's what they meant by intensity was brightness. Neck is now protected by the helmet. Damage to the chest. Damage to the chest area is now increased. Okay. Base damage is now modified by weapon class. Um, base, so, so base damage is now modified by weapon class. So they break it down a little bit better here. The actual damage is now taking into account following multipliers. The base damage stat of the weapon, the distance traveled by the projectile, damage decreases over distance, hit area damage multiplier, and a weapon class multiplier. Okay, interesting. Fix, fix the excessive aim punch while leaning in ADS mode. Very good. Remove the blurring effect of the weapon and close uh, and objects close to camera that appeared in non ADS mode. Nice. So it looks like the uh, the uh, the depth of field effect will only be applied while in ADS, which is perfect. Awesome. Vehicles unified the size of all the UAS models. The number of seats has been decreased to four. Okay. Improve the backpack capacity UI in the inventory screen. Very good. When we prepared to release the, the first early access version of PUBG earlier this year, we were not fully prepared to respond to the issue of cheating. Since then, our traffic grew exponentially and it became an even bigger issue. Earlier this month, we noted that we have been adding new that earlier this month we have been we noted that we have been adding new measures and detection methods to address the cheat issue more effectively. To provide a healthy environment to our players, addressing this issue is now our top priority. We are constantly improving our anti-cheat measures and adding new ones. With our recent efforts to strengthen the measures, the volume of players who use cheats has been reduced by 25% overall, and the volume of malicious extreme cheaters has been reduced by 50%. However, we know that this is not enough, which is why we are approaching this in multiple ways. Monitoring 24 hours a day, strengthening security systems and applying additional anti-cheat solutions, Regarding other measures, regarding other measures that our players have suggested, we are looking into a few that may be quite effective. I'm not going to say which ones because that's secret. No, it's not secret. So I'll give my topic or my thoughts on this in a second. The battle against cheats may be endless, but we will do our best to create a healthier, better environment for everyone and take strong actions against distributors and sellers of cheats, as well as those who use them. Lastly, we would like to again ask for your understanding regarding client crashes you may experience during the test. We'd like to also thank the players who have been patiently waiting for an update. Although we may not leave comments on every piece of feedback we see, we are always monitoring and reflecting on it. We appreciate it very much. In one of the, most, in one of the uh, subsequent dev blogs, we will be addressing the issues that are being discussed in the community bugs that are not fixed in this test build and issues that we are, that were not mentioned in today's dev blog. Um, we are also preparing to share more about the damage equation later as we noted above. We are looking for your feedback or looking forward to your feedback on the PC 1.0 test build. So really quick on cheating. Um, uh, one of the suggestions has been that when people are su suspected of cheating is putting them all on the same server forever. That's awesome. I would love to see that implemented. Um, so... I mean, that's a lot of stuff, 
this is the most change. This is this is a drastic change to the game. Vaulting and climbing is like almost in the rear view <coughs> compared to the ballistics and weapon damage changes and the scopes and the sights and um, the neck damage. There is a ton. Of, I don't even know if I can actually compute what this is going to be like. So I think I'm just going to leave this as a presentation of the patch notes. We can talk about it in the next video, which is coming very soon. Because as soon as this test server goes up, I'm going to be all over it. Okay, I'm going to be all over it. So um, expect test server gameplay to come um, up to this week. Um, I am going to Oakland. I'm going to Oakland um, to participate somewhat in the IEM Invitational. Um, so, or sorry, the IEM tournament is an Invitational. I can't remember. Uh, I think it is. So regardless, um, we're going, I'm going to that. Um, but there will be time to play, obviously. And I'm going to play only the test server until it goes down. I'm going to collect as much footage as I can. I'm going to soak it all up. Um, this has already been going on for 15 minutes, so I'm going to I'm going to kill this video now. I'm looking for your comments. I want to hear what you guys want to see tested. I want to see what your guys' thoughts are on the changes. It's a very exciting time. At this point, I want to say thank you to the devs um, for their hard work on this stuff. I've been critical of you. But it's only because I love the game, and by extension, I love you guys too. So thank you for your patience um, in getting this out to us and for listening to me moan and for the Reddit moaning and every other bit of moaning that has come across in the last couple of weeks and in the last couple of months. Um, I hope this is as ex plays as well as it sounds. I'm ready for crashing. I'm ready for optimization. I'm ready for vaulting and climbing, and I'm ready for those ballistic changes. Very exciting to see this kind of stuff come in. That's it for now. There will be more to come. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I'll see you out there. Oh, twitch.tv slash WTF Moses, twitter.com slash WTF Moses. You know the links. They'll be down below. Thank you guys.